the core foundation in driving an efficient and optimized month-end close process is really finding a way to standardize, centralize, and automate as much of the close as possible. Now, that cannot be achieved without effective collaboration from managers, superiors, or even your peers to know and have a great idea of whether things are being completed on time and keeping ourselves accountable. Here at Flowcast, we very much believe in the philosophy of meeting the accountant where he or she may be performing their work today. Now, while Flowcast provides a great standardized folder structure and ability to automate tasks and month-end reconciliations, what I really want to focus on is collaboration and driving a consistent workflow process by being able to integrate with Microsoft Teams. Here at Flowcast, we're very proud to announce our Teams integration being the only accounting and finance workflow automation solution in the industry that directly integrates with Microsoft Teams. Now that's valuable because we don't want an accountant to miss an email in front of their three screens during the month end close or be able to resort to a manual process just to ensure if their reconciliations were reviewed and if they did the right thing in terms of managing assumptions going into the rec. So at Flowcast, we know that there is a series of checklist procedures that are really designed to help the preparer and reviewer, but our Teams integration directly integrates with our application in a two-way format. Not only will notifications such as review notes, late tasks or reconciliations, even general status updates for executives, those notifications amongst many more will automatically be sent from Flowcast into your Teams environment. However, the unique part of our Teams integration is it's bi-directional. Now you do have the ability to not only respond to review notes directly from your Teams instance, you can also query dashboard updates, understand what's late or due today, for example, all directly from your Teams environment. And ultimately, you'll be able to sign off on tasks directly from Teams. So let's dive into a bit of how it works. Now, opening up our Teams instance, you can see I have the Flowcast application listed in my Teams environment, and I have a series of notifications that I've already received. Now, this is probably the coolest notification and it allows you to understand if there were tasks that were completed, maybe operationally you've knocked out two or three tasks, but by end of day, you just forgot to sign into Flowcast and log off or sign off on those items. We wanted to bridge that gap and make it a little easier. Knowing that the accountant has already performed the work, why should he or she be penalized if they didn't mark a sign off? So now I can easily perform my review, click mark as reviewed in Teams, which will generate my sign off date and time stamped. And if I go to the June Australia AP folder, I should be able to not only capture my sign off, but understand exactly when I perform that action. Now that is something that Flowcast as a whole would automatically email the individuals at four o'clock local time zone every day, just to ensure if something got missed. And as you can see, Flowcast has indeed captured my sign off. This example is very unique to our business and an example that does drive effective workflow collaboration, but there are also a variety of notifications that users can benefit from. So to get a general idea, we wanted to provide not only the key notifications when review notes are issued, as I mentioned, or when things fall behind their deadlines, but we also have additional information in the form of maybe your flux analysis has changed, and now you need to go in and update your explanation. Again, everything will be populated in your team's environment, and you can take the respective action. As briefly discussed earlier, I think the most valuable notification with Teams, what all of our clients, hundreds of those that have already installed and taken value of this application, they've mentioned that the daily sign-off reminder is very critical. Uh, again, allows them to go ahead and take credit for some of the work they're doing without creating more steps in their workflow. And lastly, to give you a general idea of some of those commands or queries that any individual can directly initiate in their team's environment, it's pretty simple. Let me know what's due today 
or let me know what I need to focus on tomorrow. But regardless of these commands, we wanted to provide a full scope of all the different notifications and visibility measures that either a staff or a CFO may be interested in throughout the close. Now, some of our top clients are not only tracking month-end close activities, but operational activities that occur throughout the month where teams can be very valuable to understand the why. You know, why are we booking this journal entry or recapturing this accrual? Does the individual understand the nature of the business? And oftentimes those conversations are done in the hallway, email, or maybe done in another method. However, we all very much resort to our team's environment for chat capabilities. So why not be able to streamline all of those conversations in an environment that you're already using today? We're very proud and continue to focus on further development with our team's integration but this can immediately serve ROI in terms of effective workflow, making sure the team is held accountable, and ultimately everything indeed is standardized, centralized, and automated with the collaboration theme sprinkled across. Thank you very much. We hope this was enjoyable.